Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Sai Roses. In today's video, we will discuss about Odoo Studio. Odoo Studio is a powerful feature within the Odoo platform that allows you to customize and extend the functionalities of your Odoo applications without writing the code. It provides a user-friendly interface where you can drag and drop the elements, configure fields, create custom actions, and design your own workflow. So let's see how can we create a new app in Odoo 17 Studio. For that, you can just click on um, studio button uh, that is his total studio so if you haven't installed this module from the app store you have to first install the module then only you will get this uh, icon visible in the top right of your Odoo platform so you can just dive uh, to here and here you can find that we can just create a new app so in order to create the new app you can just click on this um, icon and here you can see that currently we are welcome to the Odoo Studio, that is the fastest way to create a web application without writing any code. So without any hesitation, we can just start that by clicking on the next button. And here you can see that you can create the app by setting the app name. So I'm going to create the name of the app as Real Estate. And here you can see that we can also just design the icon by setting the colors. Uh, then we can or, or we can just upload the image that we want to just set it as the icon of the app. So I would like to change the icon right now. So you can just click on here to change the icon. Uh, so you would be able to find different icons over here. So um, if you want to just change the uh, color and all, you can change that. So I'll be using uh, the icon over here as this. And now let me change the color from here. And you can also change the background color of the icon. So I would like to change it as uh, yellow. And let's save this. Uh, I mean, let's want the next process. So you can just click on new button. And, I mean, next button in order to uh, go ahead. And now we just need to create our first menu. So we can just set the name of our menu. Either it can be a new model or we just want to uh, take an existing model. But I would like to go with the new model so that I'll be showing that uh, the model selection as new model. And I just need to create a new menu for my model. Okay, so I'm going to give the menu name as properties itself. So you can just set the name of the menu that you just want to make visible in your um, yeah new app. And let's click on next in order to complete the other things. So as we just uh, click on the um, yeah, next button here, you can see that we have to include certain features in our app. So here I just want to get different things such as custom sorting, archiving, chatter. And other than that, I just need to attach a picture of the records and I just want to get the stages uh, of my project like these stages and uh, visualize the records in pipeline. So like uh, such as the mm, yeah, list view uh, then uh, it can be the gun view and all. So if you want to get that, you can just actually uh, enable all those features over here. So uh, we have enabled that and I just need to get a user assignment, which means I just want to set or uh, I just want to know the uh, responsible person of the model. And uh, I just need to know the contact details. Uh, like I just need to get the contact uh, phone, email um, on my um, yeah, app and I'll be enabling that. And if you want to find the monetary values that you are using in your report, you can also just enable this field. And here you can see we have further more features. And if you want to add different features, you can just enable the field so that you can just use accordingly uh, on to your purpose of the app. Now, if I just want to create the app. So by clicking on create your app here, you can see it's very easy to create a new app over here and that's cool right and if you want to just move on to the access control you can just go there and you would be able to find the access control list over here such as the properties group users as well as the um, group systems which means which all group can be uh, accessed uh, these things and all and now let me back um, and uh, yeah let's see uh, let's move on to the uh, edit menu and uh, if you want to make any further additions over here, you can just move on there. And uh, let's move on to the properties and you would be able to find uh, the things over here. Now let me close my app. And here you can see that we have successfully created 
our app uh, with the menu as properties and here you would be able to find the configuration it has got uh, properties changes by default and you can see that we have just used a pipeline over here and you would be able to find the stages that are included like uh, the views that are included such as can pan list map pivot and graph now further things will be discussed through upcoming videos and that's all for today thank you for watching the video